What's up, you guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, this guy Render. And today we're going against a guy named Uni. And Uni is a long-time follower on Twitter and is a very, very competent battler. We battled a few times before. Uh, he's very good at the force plane and you know, are very, very aggressive. And uh, my team isn't really built for that, so that's why it became a uh, battle of the minds, to be honest. Uh, looking fast at the teams here, we both got Mega Pidgeot. But he's got Gorgeist, he got uh, Rotom Freeze, which actually is a good counter for um, Pidgeot now, considering the no-god ability, uh, and Blizzard obviously hitting. And then we got the Garbodor, uh, Slacking, and uh, Butterfree, and I myself using Bronzong, Molga, Kecleon, Mega Pidgeot, Barbarical, and Dead Adaptability, Specs, Dragaldi. What a beautiful master of pokes, really. But honestly, I definitely have a stronger team here, but his team build-up might just be enough, actually, to cope with me. And the uh, biggest threat for me in Hot and His teams is actually the beauty or the Butterfree. Because the Butterfree, I really don't have an ounce of that, and um, I don't have any grass types, I can easily outspeed anything on my team besides the Mega Pidgeot. And just basically, I'm gonna have a hard time with it. I need to get my rocks up, so I need to use Bronze on Raft away and uh, just nerf it the best possible way, and really. So, yeah, anyway, let's actually get to it. So, I know that it was a very, very real situation that he's gonna start off with the Butterfree, and if that were the case, I might as well just try to get a rocks up and uh, get myself um, get the sleep powder. But he does miss the first one. Which is lucky with me, and he's gonna pull off the next one on Sleep Powder. And, uh, I mean, there's really nothing I can do. And like I said there, I really, really want the rocks up, because that will help me a lot against the Rotom and uh, the Mega Pidgeot here in the future. So, at this point, it was like, okay, I have to wake up, and I need to get up Toxic. So, I do wake up at one turn, which is really, really lucky for me, of, of course. And uh, now at least this thing has a timer, I know it has no way of recovery whatsoever, and I know it's gonna keep going for that sleep powder, so I have no reason to switch out. I can wall it out, you know, not well, but as long as the timer goes, I know he's not gonna start attacking until his HP is around half percent. So at this point, I'm just gonna try to, you know, get through, hit him with an iron head, hoping to get him below, like I said, 50%, and uh, then hoping for him to go for a bug bus. So I know <laughs> I do wake up after one turn again, and I do put him in a very nice range here. So I knew he's gonna go for Bug Bus now, and I only have one Pokemon that can wall that well, and that's the Dragaldi. But my Dragaldi is not specially defensive invested, it is actually defensively invested due to most players want to hit this on its defensive side, which is obviously lacking in. So I rather try to make it survive that and then come back and retaliate with Draco Meteor because it's not fast enough to outspeed anything really besides if you go for Trick Room that is so my opponent here I know that Gorgeist or Garbodor really can't do anything against me so I just went straight ahead for Draco he's actually set up Toxic Spikes which could be dangerous if I did not have Dragaldi which I do so uh, still you know good position and of course that Draco decimated that poor guy and uh, I do see him using a blizzard at this point, so I'm just gonna switch out uh, rather easy actually to my raw song. We can wall that out. Even if he decided to go for Will O Wisp or a Volt Switch, I would still take that rod nicely. But it do miss the blizzard, and that is very, very unfortunate. So I'm gonna expect him here to go for a Volt Switch. So I'm just gonna bring him into my Dragoldi. <laughs> actually, walling that because there is no reason for me to. Um, actually try to stay in on that and it's, I have actually a very very good opportunity to outspeed a lot of things on his team plus you know just soaking that is really really good so I do expect him to go for a shadow sneak here it seems like the, his best bet really so I take this opportunity to bring my mega Pidgeot uh, because I am immune to ghost moves you know even if you gone for a seed bomb or a willow it would have worked just fine for me but I do get the honest opportunity to uh, go through that so, yeah, I am actually very, very lucky here. So I do uh, evolve right off the bat. I really went for a hurricane because I knew 
that whether or not he's going to stay in or not, I want to do as much damage as possible, and this Hurricane does a very, very fair damage. Uh, and since I've seen the leftovers, I know it's not Scarves, so I can just finish it off with a Heat Wave. And you know, I, I ripped on Pidgeot a lot, uh, that it isn't good enough, but really I think it pulls through fine. It It's walled out by Rock types, but I think it's it's working. It isn't a working favor, if not to say the least. So anyway, the chill is here, or chill, and um, yeah, I'm not standing in for Retaliate, I am not. So I go into my Barbelco, which is... Uh, tough closet that I've been working on, and uh, you know it's it's a um, not ready yet. Uh, I just wanted to try it out, so I go for a super power, and I must say, you know, unstabbed here, but stuff tough claw boosted. It is still you know close enough. It really is. But the thing is here that um, the slacking does outspeed, and I was just thinking maybe Honey Pie can take a retaliate from full HP. It cannot. He got decimated there, isn't it? So, oh, yeah, that was real tough. So, yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna send him my Mega Pidgeot here because I know I can finish this game off rather nicely because my Pidgeot is not the sweeper set that everybody's using. I've been actually... My Pidgeot is made to deal with other Mega Pidgeots. So that means that I built some special defense on it to be able to take precisely a Hyper Beam. But that means that my uh, Mega Pidgeot can't use a Hurricane to finish another Pidgeot off so I need to go for a Hyper Beam but he does go for Protect here uh, and after this he will go for the Hurricane and the Hurricane is, like I said there due to my design of my Mega Pidgeot it's going to take that and it's going to live it which um, it shouldn't do <laughs> in other cases so it, it, I mean it does barely live but it's designed to survive you know from the glimpse of it really so I'm just going to go for that Hyper Beam, and it's going to be more than enough, to, I think, to finish off another Pidgeot. But, like I said, a Hurricane from my Pidgeot is not enough to kill another Mega Pidgeot, even from that range of HP. And I think it was in the 88 range present, so I think I'd do roughly the 5 at best. So Hyper Beam is the way to go. So that's why I wanted to stealth rocks up, to be honest. So he's actually going to forfeit here, because, um, yeah, there is no way the Gore guys can do anything. And even if he went for a Seed Bomb, it is not very likely to make out my Pidgeot. And uh, Hurricane will definitely decimate him. So, uh, really, I mean, <laughs> GG. It was definitely a close battle, and I liked it a lot, so thank you so much. So yeah, Yoni, my opponent, really did all he could to decimate me, to be honest. I did some over predictions, and it paid my favorite, little did. And me coping with the Butterfree <laughs> that early really helped out, because... Butterfree could destroy my team, not gonna lie there, it has a lot of momentum to build and it was definitely a smart move starting off with it, I was very lucky waking up the first turn uh, for both sleep powders really, and missing one of course, so yeah, extremely lucky there of course, I think it will get a lot of momentum if that didn't happen and uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, I like Mega Pidgeot, it, this team has been working fairly well and um, like I said, I've been ripping on Mega Pidgeot, I think it got issues but it's still strong enough to um, to cope with his issues because of 135 special attack, it's actually running eyes. I mean, that is all Kassam levels, really. It hits really hard. So, um, yeah, I kind of like it for that. An Ominous Wind it might not be the best of choices, but in contrast to what it can give me back of 10% boost and everything, it, it is in the range of, you know, dealing with a lot of things because of that. So, other than that, I have actually like question of the day for you guys. I have been wondering, or rather, I've been um, somewhat annoyed of it myself, um, which Pokemons do you think are missing a move? And what I mean by that is that the Pokemon seems like they should be able to learn it, but they don't. Uh, my biggest um, issue, I guess, or I, I have two Pokemons that I think should learn a move that they don't do, and it, that is Meloetta and Bronzong. I really think those two should learn Boom Burst. Bronzong seemed to be able to do that. I mean, it's giant clock after all. It really feels weird that it doesn't do it. Uh, and it learns a lot of other weird moves, so it feels really, really lacking the bonus. And uh, yeah, and the other is, like I said, Meloetta there. I really think that uh, since it is like the music Pokemon, you know, in the range of that, it seems kind of weird to not learn the ultimate like music move or sound move. That goes for Dedane too, I might as well get off the bat. Why isn't Dedane learning Dancing Blame? That's kind of beyond me too. So yeah. And uh, I like guys, you know, thank you as always for watching, of course. 
I try to get up as much content as possible. I'm still waiting for Capricor, honestly, but you know, I'm doing my best. I really am, and uh, I'm trying to get a lot of more original sets out. I've been starting off. I got a power save the other day, so uh, things are spinning up pretty pretty fast here. So that's great. Uh, I definitely, you know, it it really really is frustrating that the money is issue in uh, Omega Ruben Alpha Sapphire because it honestly wasn't that in X and Y. So. I don't know, it seems like a um, lack of proper programming, to be honest. So, with me brabbling about that, no, sorry about that, guys, really. So, what I want to get at is, don't forget to leave a like, of course, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and remember, the sky is the limit. So, have a good day, and take care, alright? Bye.